Hi everybody, and welcome to the Irish Cultural Centre Hammersmith. Sadly, we are still closed, and as you know, we have been since the 17th of March. When we closed our doors, we were unsure as everybody else as to what the future would hold. So we decided to set up ICC Digital to reach our new audience in a different way. Both myself, Rosalind Scanlon, our Artistic Director, and Carrie Folks, our Digital Media and Events Officer, began to plot a way forward with the great support from our Board of Directors. Of course, we miss our live audiences and our live events and doing what we, the Irish Cultural Centre, are known for, promoting the best of Irish culture live to you. But over the next few weeks, our team and technical director, Jerry Logue, will be recording various artists, storytellers and lecturers here in the building, which we will present to you on ICC Digital later this year when the sun starts to wane. We were thrown into a world that we didn't fully understand and we had to learn as we went along. But thankfully to our friends at Loopline Film and the Irish Film Institute, we were able to start ICC Digital with great documentaries about the life of the artist Patrick Kavanagh, the life of Kathleen Lynn, and also the life of the Dublin Street Traders. We also were lucky enough to have a friendship with the RTE archives, which allowed us to look at the past in so many different topics. We looked at sport and the life of Jack Charlton. We looked at Irish travellers in the community. And we also looked at the long list of presidents. I'd also like to take this time to thank all of our at-home performers who recorded for us and sent in self-tapes of music, comedy, poetry readings. It all made a huge difference to the success of ICC Digital. That success has helped us grow. And we can now confidently say that we have over 35 thousand views weekly through all our channels. We are overwhelmed by the support. We have recurring audience members and viewers watching every week, which we can see, which is brilliant. And we also have new audiences joining us every week, which is amazing as well. We've not only expanded our reach in London, but to the UK and Ireland and across the globe. Who knows where ICC Digital will take us in the future? I'd like to take this time to thank everybody who supported us especially the Emigrant Support Programme from the Embassy of Ireland and the Global Irish, Hammersmith and Fulham Council. I'd like to thank the Ireland Funds, the Irish Youth Foundation and London City Trust for making ICC, Digital and the Culture Hotline possible. And now as we move on, I'd like to take this time to introduce a very good friend of the Irish Cultural Centres, all the way from his home in Donegal, the wonderful Daniel O'Donnell. Hello there to all of you connected with the Irish Cultural Centre in Hammersmith. This is Daniel O'Donnell here. Just a wee message. I'm at home in Donegal at the minute, but I wanted to uh, say hello to you all and hope that you're doing well in these strange times that we have experienced the last uh, three months or so. Uh, I know that uh, you have a great community there, albeit that maybe you're not able to gather as you used to, but nevertheless, there's a great connection, I believe. So well done to everybody involved. And although I know you're not all from Donegal, I'm going to give you a verse. I've just stepped in to see you all. I'll only stay a while. I want to see how you're getting on. I want to see you smile. I'm happy to be back again to greet you big and small. For there's no place else on earth just like the homes of Donegal. Keep safe for all of you and hope to see you sometime. God bless.